We have a Seven of Swords energy here, accompanied by the Queen of Swords in the reverse. We also have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So I definitely feel someone tried to get away with something strategic. This is someone who has passion for you, but a very low sense of loyalty, even respect. I feel this is someone who is very reckless and patient. They bring a lot of stress and conflict, all be due to their betrayal, dishonesty, and possibly even for some of you, stress of theft. Hmm. Something was taken away from you emotionally, spiritually, financially. Please take it out. It resonates. But I feel you had to gain a new sense of perspective, perspection here. Hmm. Queen of Swords is in the reverse. This is letting me know that you're seeing something differently. You're seeing something for what it is, not the way you used to. Something of that nature. But I definitely feel someone wanted you to see something their way. I feel this energy is coming out as emotionally unready. This energy is coming out as insecure and immature. Here with the Page of Cups in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse. This is definitely someone who turned your world upside down. It def definitely, when it comes to clearing something out, letting something go, or no longer compromising in a situation. This Queen of Swords in the reverse, someone wanted you to emotionally react. Hmm. We also have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Swords in the upright. So this is a head over heart decision here. You have to be disciplined in a choice. I feel you have to find your own mental clarity and stand your ground in the situation. Hmm. So I definitely feel there's this harmony within teamwork or a foundation of bond. This could also be a group of people, but there is a lack of communication, respect, loyalty, understanding when it comes to this group or individual. This is someone who has been cruel bitter, cold to you. Hmm. This is someone who is saying that you're overreacting when I feel your your energy is justified. Hmm. I feel there's no balance, no compromise within the situation causing you to make a head of a hard decision. Here would be King of Swords. I feel you're pouring into self here with the Temperance card to lay something to rest for Swords. Hmm. This is a time of contemplation, rest, recovery. We also have the hangman. The hangman energy here is you letting something go. Wow. Yes, you're letting something go, finding a new perspective of a situation. You're accepting something. You're no longer sacrificing. This is a change to release. Queen of Pentacles energy. You're a nurturing individual that is going through a transformation. You're moving on. Moving on into change, Six of Swords. You're moving on into a different space of life. This is to create balance, alignment from bad choices. Um, so someone definitely had a fear of being vulnerable with you. This is someone who deceived you, manipulated you in some type of way. There's some gossip surrounding this energy as well as bad information. Someone was informed about you but not in the best way there's a lot of talk about your energy as well this is someone who should have stood in a leadership position this energy should have been stable um sound-minded but this energy is turning out as controlling and lacking when it comes to discipline i also feel that there's a missed opportunity a missed chance here where someone made a bad investment there's a lack of foresight here king of wands in the reverse yes yeah, someone was very impulsive ruthless while you're standing in the position of a giver six of pentacles this is you giving in hopes to receive the same energy to create balance someone didn't give you what you needed something is definitely long overdue king of cups in the reverse someone cannot meet the same energy when it comes to emotional balance this is also someone who has gotten some bad advice they brought on some competition a debate, a rivalry, a conflict. I feel it was heightened with this energy's choices. There's clashing of egos. Someone is being real petty here, bringing on sudden change. So I feel this competition, this this rivalry, this tension brought on a lot of strife, which also brought on a tower moment. A tower moment of sudden change. 
Hmm. This is a disaster that only brought on the energy of an awakening for you. Someone's being very greedy, very spiteful when they took this chance, caused this upheaval, chaos, that only brought you to a revelation. The lover's card is in the reverse, letting me know these are energies that didn't respect the connection the way that you do. Now this energy could be seeing something for what it is. Hmm. And someone is sitting in a space of regret for trying to get away with something strategically. Hmm. Someone feels like you are carrying a sense of hate for them. But I feel it's only because you have set some boundaries. And you're not pouring into self and not paying something or someone no mind. Out of sight, out of mind, energy here. Seven of Cups is in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Empress, your energy as well, is in the reverse. So this is someone who thought that they could fool you, but was blocked by a higher power. Hmm. I feel you had to pour into self. This is self-love to cause harmony from a situation where it brought on a lot of distrust. Hmm. I feel this situation creatively blocked you, blocked you in some type of way. Wow. Now I see you thinking differently. I feel you being driven in a different aspect. You're very compassionate energy. I feel you gave more than you should have when it comes to this situation that has a rocky foundation. I feel someone was holding back in a very foolish way. They were not thinking positively or this energy is just always into taking leaps of faith in the wrong direction direction but someone has definitely disappointed you in various ways this is someone who is overreactive when it comes to emotion nine of cups energy hmm. the devil card is also in the reverse letting me know you had to release this because of the energy it gave hmm. so i definitely feel here with the five of swords energy this was a battle a long journey of you trying to sort something out with someone it's extend an olive branch but someone was playing the fool possibly not taking you seriously taking you for granted i feel here with the seven of wands energy this was a challenge this was a challenge that also protected you in some way i see you in a space of recovery from a loss this is introspective energy of, of the hermit soul searching energy you're contemplating you're thinking about something Wow. Emotional healing here. Wow. So here with the emotional healing, you're about to make a choice. Here with the two of swords energy. We also have the five of cups. This is definitely something you're forced to accept. I feel like this is something you're not in a good space about. But I feel you're about to find a sense of acceptance from your losses. Losses that have brought you great disappointment, disappointment or even sorrow. I feel you're moving on, finding peace, personal setbacks are here, but I feel these setbacks are only to lift you up. This is attached to your wisdom and grace. Hmm. You're definitely making a difficult decision here. You're weighing your options. Hmm. Something is also deadlocked here. Something is about to take place before you are in the position to make a decision. You're, you're about to turn your back against something. Accepting some losses. I feel this is a painful ending, but also a rebirth for you here with the Ten of Swords. Here with the Devil Energy in the reverse, you're releasing limiting beliefs. Exploring something. Exploring something when it comes to emotional losses. This is something that has created a block for you. But I also feel here with the Judgment card and the World card in the reverse, this is you seeking personal closure, personal change. I see you sorting something out. Where someone in your past has definitely been in the energy of cutting corners. I feel there's judgment here that only brings in a rebirth. A rebirth to a new phase, a new calling. I see a reckoning. A reckoning through an awakening. So here with the Justice card, this will be fair. This will be true. This is law when it comes to cause and effect. I feel this is someone who was trying to control the situation. This energy kept a lot of secrets, but I also see here manifestation. This is a magician card, the justice card, as well as the high priestess energy here. So all of your energy is pretty much coming out in the reverse. The empress came out in the reverse, the queen of swords, 
but the Queen of Cups is in the upright. So you're trying to get something moving when it comes to emotions or a new way of being. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This is something that is connected to your self-love, self-worth. So searching to create some type of truth. But I also see you're manifesting here to create fairness. I feel you're manifesting when it comes to things that you don't understand or you have yet to see the truth about. I feel you could be manifesting. This could also be prayer, prayer for something to be revealed. I see you standing in a sense of courage and strength. Hmm. So I feel like you're manifesting strength, power, energy, something to be revealed to you. I feel this is something you're going to have to have courage for. It's more like uh, be careful what you wish for. This is also good luck energy here. So in you manifesting, whether that's through prayer or whatever else, you're turning the wheels of fate. Hmm. This is fairness and justice here with the wheel card. They're coming out on top of each other for you to find strength in the situation. When I say be careful what you wish for, I feel you're going to have to have strength to get through something. <sighs> Many of you are thinking you've been through more than enough, but I feel this won't be this won't be anything when it comes to what you've been through. As I sense you are capable of anything. You just have to believe in self. This Wheel of Fortune card is good luck, karma. A life cycle here where destiny is causing a turning point for you. This is positive change. And what that, whatever this is, it is definitely faded to you. There's been a lot of ups and downs when dealing with your energy. Things have been very unpredictable. But I see you preparing for something three of wands. Preparing for something that brings you to wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. Yeah, I feel you were prepared for this. Through the obstacles, challenges, as well as changes in your life. You know, something is definitely moving. You're going to have to have self-discipline to have this victory. But I do see you coming out with a victory, a reward, six of wands. This is also public recognition. I see many of you in the eyes of the public or a blessing coming your way that is much bigger than you thought it would be. Mm. Someone's definitely sitting in a space where they had you doing it all by yourself. Someone is definitely trying to hold on to you here with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, but I feel it's in the reverse because someone may not deserve your attention. Six of Wands. Sudden change, power moment. Yeah. I definitely feel here with the sudden change, the upheaval. Something. Wow, oh, okay. I feel you have to let go of something that is still holding on to you. This is a situation that only brings chaos and confusion, a broken heart, grief. Here's the Three of Swords energy. This tower moment created a heartbreak. Someone's still holding on to you even though they know they broke the code, they broke your heart. They took advantage of your position, causing you to go into karma water, Six of Swords energy. You're giving to this energy here who broke your heart causing you to be overwhelmed. You did it all. You made this happen between the two of you, or you made this work. You did a lot of compromising, which also became a burden or a struggle as nothing seemed to change. I feel you had to release something here, release a burden. Ten of Wands coming out in the reverse, Four of Cups. I definitely feel you tried to make an offer that was rejected. Someone didn't take you seriously or yet they just took you for granted. This is someone who is very domineering. They should have been in high honor in your life. But I feel you could be pouring into self and laying something to rest to find a true peace where there's inner turmoil or fear, secrets, or something finally being exposed to you. This is definitely a situation where you had to fight for something. Fight for self, fight for a connection, but I feel you were dealing with someone who was very impulsive and making bad choices, causing you to finally lay something to rest. Hmm. Many of you may feel like something or someone was a bad investment. This has caused you to plan for self. Page of Swords, someone is just not meeting your energy, even though you've been practical, nurturing, and loyal. I see something coming your way here, Eight of Wands energy here. This is action, fast movement, a swift change in your life where there is abundance, security. Something new coming your way where you had to end something to create this new beginning here with the death card.
I feel this is change, transformation, a transition, a metamorphosis of someone who is ending a cycle, two of wands. I definitely feel you are planning to do this. You're releasing some fears here, overcoming something to have the fruits of your labor. Nine of Pentacles. Here with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, I definitely feel you're juggling something. You still haven't made a choice, but for some of you, something is set in stone. There's no more tries. Eight of Cups in the reverse. You're tired of trying emotionally. Someone just keeps disappointing you. You're tired of the, the act, the performance. You just want your peace. You just want your happiness. Six of Cups. There's a lack in communication here. And I feel someone could be doing that on purpose. But I feel something long-term became short-term because someone didn't believe in you and even self. Self-development. I see you pouring into self after being burdened by something. This is a new project, a new beginning. Ace of Wands here. Upright energy. Ten of Cups energy here with the Page of Wands. So I definitely feel you had to discover something about someone who is still coming out as low vibrational. Page of Wands. This energy keeps coming out as the page. Each time this energy comes out this way, it makes me feel like they just couldn't level up. Someone just couldn't meet your standard. But I feel you're finding some type of clarity here. Ace of Swords energy. Wow. Hmm. I feel someone is carrying some guilt. They're not exposing it. They're not admitting it. And they may never do that. But I only feel like someone is trying to make something right with you because they need to lighten their load. Hmm. But I feel this energy is still being reckless when it comes to teamwork here with the Three of Cups in the reverse. Three is a crowd. There's a lot of talking. There's a lot of gossip. Hmm. And I feel this is another reason you have to make a decision to protect your energy, your heart, and even your life. Let's get some more energy here. So, I definitely feel many of you had to take a step back from a situation where you were giving more than you were receiving. As it seems there's an energy here who is just not worth the, the time, the energy, or even the patience. I feel this is someone who didn't give the way that you did. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who was only good at giving you just enough to keep you holding on to nothing. Yet I feel as much as you wanted this to work out, you had to fall back. You had to let go. So this energy could lean on those they think and speak so highly of. I feel you had to make a choice when dealing with someone who truly broke your heart. I feel this is someone who is being judged for their actions, but this energy still doesn't believe in cause and effect. This energy doesn't believe in karma, but I feel soon, very soon they will. Let's get another deck here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? What are the messages here for the type of energies? So I definitely feel someone wanted you to take the bait, but I sense you made a decision here. Judgment was called. Someone wanted you to take the bait in the situation, but I feel you were able to move forward regardless. Hmm. Thinking one size fits all. Yes, you made a choice to let go of something that no longer served you. Queen of Swords energy here. There's a trade-off. Hmm. You not taking the bait, not giving in, not allowing someone to provoke you. Many of you were just like, fuck it. You let go. I mean, if you let go to let God, I feel there's an exit strategy here when it comes to an illusion. I feel you could be juggling something, watering your own grass, and stripping down to release an illusion. I feel many of you are stepping into your own domain, tapping into your higher self, no longer being consumed by passion or even sorrow. I see you reinventing yourself. This could also be a new perspective. Where you could be thinking bigger, thinking smarter. Especially when it comes to the, the law of attraction. Wow. You're thinking bigger when it comes to cause and effect, the law of attraction, and someone testing your boundaries. You're being smarter, not bitter. You're being smarter, not bitter, while letting go. You're going outside yourself. Hmm. I feel someone being ruthless is a turnoff. Someone being cold or not 
being in the energy of changing definitely made you retreat. I feel it's a turn off when it comes to the fun and games. Someone not taking you seriously, you guarded your heart because someone tested your boundaries. This energy is coming out as plastic, too desperate. There's a lot of gossip here, but I feel besides someone's petty behavior, I feel you are stepping into your power and someone's just gonna have to suck it up. You're taking a solo path within a situation and people are not used to that. I feel you're doing something differently here and I feel that was definitely unexpected. I feel these energies who played these games are now seeing that you're no longer allowing them to test your boundaries. As it seems, you're no longer affected by the way they chose to disappoint you. You're being smarter about something. You're being smarter, not bitter. And someone's really shocked about your change or the fact that they were wrong about you. I see you stripping down, watering your own grass, not taking the bait when it comes to an illusion. I see you exiting a situation, putting a closure or an end to something by making a decision here with the two, two of swords energy. Let's get one more card here. <laughs> Man eater. You're definitely causing some energies to look at you different. I feel you're killing the competition with this card. Someone didn't see you stepping into a new space of self. Someone wanted you to be in pieces, but I feel someone left you in peace. Let's get a final deck out here. For many of you, I sense you have reached out to the universe. Hmm. I feel like you reached out to the universe for support, guidance, protection, exposing the fake. This is the manifestation energy here that I was getting earlier, where you're going to have to find the strength. Yes. So I feel like you have asked for protection and exposing the fake or those who intend to lead you astray. And I sense your energy has been received when it comes to that. Yet I sense you must also ask for strength because a list of those with a hidden agenda just might shock you. However, I feel your enemies may need that protection as well, as your ancestors and guides are nothing to play with. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for the collective energies? And the cards here that this represent the message, the energy three. So we have the innovation card here. Ghost of the Past, Resurrection, hmm. Spiritual Warfare. <laughs> so I definitely feel many of you are torn between the two, possibly in between worlds with this energy. But for many of you, this is spiritual warfare where you're torn between the two. Whether that is the old you and the new you, or you're torn between the, the past and the beginning of a future. Whatever it is, I feel you are doomed for a resurrection here. I didn't mean to say doom, but I definitely feel something is going to be in progress for something in your life. So someone is coming out as a ghost of the past. Someone who should have been near you, close to you, is now thinking of you in a very spiritual or enlightened way where they're wishing to reinvent something when it comes to you. But I feel in this moment, spirit is wanting you to keep exploring. Keep exploring when it comes to a new opportunity. So there will be something from your past trying to reignite something. This could be a situation or even a person. But whatever it is, spirit is asking you to explore your options. Don't give in or slow something down. This will be a space of spiritual warfare where you're torn between the two. This could be your past and the new you or this new beginning, but I feel you should keep exploring when it comes to new opportunities to bring in your light to rebuild. Hmm. Yes. So for many of you, this is a time to renew, build on your dreams, create your life and come out of this space of indecision. I feel this is a time where you're about to step into a new phase, live differently. This is good news. Many of you could receive a phone call or some type of message that comes out to be good news, but I still feel you have a doubtful heart. You're not sure. 
I feel you have a doubtful heart when it comes to a situation. As it seems, you may doubt that this good news will come your way, but I see a renewal when it comes to your heart. I see you making a choice, rebuilding, and living differently. You just have to be ready to receive. I feel compromise is needed when it comes to conflict of your desires, pressing matters. I feel you could be in the early stages of something that is unseen. Okay. Wow. I feel there is something that is unseen, but I feel your solution is disguised in a problem or something you feel was a mistake. Something that could also be frozen or at a delay because you're a wounded healer. A wounded healer that needs to heal self. Wow. Many of you are coming out of the, as a wounded healer, needing to separate yourself from someone who doesn't understand or respect your energy, not in the way that they should. But I feel some things are about to change. This is some final energy here from this deck, of course. If you guys enjoy this reading, let me know down below. Final energy here, Holy Spirit, thank you. So here we have the third party energy here that is attached to the blessing in disguise. So I definitely feel these are outside influences, a group of people that cause some type of dysfunction in your life. Got in between you and what you wanted, hmm. what you thought you needed. But I feel this third party took away something that was blocking you, blocking you from your abundance, your blessing, your light, your energy, your creativity. This is the blessing in disguise. The third party. Someone or something caused you to make a decision. A decision you wouldn't have made before. But this decision caused you to step into a new beginning after something was ended. This is you mastering a fear. You're mastering a fear when it comes to a third party energy here. Where there's a necessary sacrifice. You made a sacrifice, a choice that you would have not normally made, but this is why something is disguised as a problem, which only turned out to be a solution. This is good luck for you. Something ending, you are mastering a fear and making necessary sacrifices to enter a new dawn where there is blessings set in your path that only feels like a miracle. Wow. Many of you feel like you're not prepared for this, like you don't have the tools, but I feel the spirit is saying nothing is missing when it comes to your energy. You just have to walk into it. For many of you, you will be walking alone, but know that you are never alone when graced by your ancestors as well as your guides. Your guides are wanting you to embrace the darkness, the emotions of this, the darkness of the situation to find your light. They want you to know you are safe. You are safe and never alone. You are not unprepared. You are prepared and fully capable of surviving the rain to get to this rainbow. Things will be dark, but I feel something is coming out as a miracle because you get through it in a very special way. This is a spiritual birth for you. Releasing something to choose love. I see you choosing love over old habits, old situations, and you are untapping new potential, walking a path that you will thrive in. So I definitely feel here in the distant future, you're going to discover a truth and find your own closure, walking a path that you will thrive in. I feel this is a situation where you will be abundantly gifted through healthier choices. This is a sudden shift where you are gifted divinely when it comes to new love, partnership, teamwork, foundation, stability. These are vibrations of blessings through prayer, manifestation. A spirit wants you to know you're almost there. There will be happiness. I feel this would also speak to your inner child. Where many of you want to sit this out. But I feel whatever's coming your way is fated to you. It is your destiny. And you're about to make a choice that you wouldn't normally, normally wake. Normally make. But this will only advance you. I see you getting through the flames. 
there's no rush. I definitely feel these karmic ties, third parties are about to get their own sense of fairness and justice, but I feel it will be through a warrior spirit. Someone's going to have to fight just as hard as you have to find their own peace. I feel there will be a celebration for you through a mystical journey. And you're going to have to take some real intuitive choices to step into this rebirth. I see you reassessing, but also giving in to the Most High. This will be a new move. Something is left up in the air, but I see you having joyful times. There will be a clash here. Whatever this is that's coming your way is going to come in at the moment that you are finding your peace, your bl your bliss. You're going to feel like you are over something, but someone or something is going to bring up some old things. But to get through this, this is you struggling through the fears and getting through it. It brings in abundance. It brings in what belongs to you. Which is ironic because many of you are already getting the sense that something or someone is off. And you may feel this before you physically see it. As many of these energies only see the wrong in your actions, yet never see the wrong in theirs. As it seems, they act like you're the problem. Many of these energies have put you down or dismissed you, and they act like you're the issue. But it's only because you call it like you see it, or you're just not easily fooled. Because even the things you allowed was only to keep the peace and show you truly cared. But when your compromise didn't work, you had to retreat. I feel you had to retreat to keep from allowing your anger or this disappointment and heartbreak to consume you. As the only reason you believe in love is because of the way you love. Hmm. I feel these energies are about to understand they took a big loss by rejecting or dismissing you, taking you for granted, not being serious about something because I sense you're about to thrive. I feel you're about to thrive in a very big way. I feel many of you may have some doubt when it comes to this new love. Many of you may have a closed heart, but this is also the spiritual warfare you're going to have to face some fears through. Walk this path and choose love anyways. You have a very big heart and you can't let this situation, this energy or this person allow you to change that. Because as of now, you have yet to find someone who has proven to be a blessing in this area of your life. Yet I feel through all the trials and error, you're about to step into a new phase of life. As you may be wondering why something has to take so long, yet I sense it's only because the blessing is bigger than you thought it would be. As it will be worth the wait. Just wait and see.